President Biden says we now know enough about Omicron to lift travel restrictions to southern Africa. This one day after the CDC updated its isolation guidance. CBS Rose Deborah Alfron has more on that. The White House announced it will lift travel restrictions this Friday on these eight African nations, which were hit hard early by the Omicron variant. A new CDC report highlights a small study suggesting the highly contagious variant has an incubation period of around three days and causes less severe symptoms in those who've previously had COVID-19. The virus is adapting. Omicron is different, very different from prior strains, and we need to adapt too. This week, the CDC slashed the isolation period for those testing positive for COVID-19 from 10 to 5 days if you're no longer symptomatic, but you're required to wear a mask in public for at least 5 days. You're most infectious a day or two before you get sick and for the first day or two after you've gotten sick. So it's a reasonable approach to keep our economy moving, save lives. The airline industry pushed for the change with staffing shortages leading to several hundred more canceled flights. The president's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, calls the updated CDC guidance a good choice, but the head of the flight attendants union disagrees, saying that it could lead to an unsafe work environment. Long lines also persist throughout the country for those seeking a COVID-19 test. It makes you want to cry. You feel bad, you know, and then you can't, you know, you just can't get in anywhere. Chicago public schools are asking students and staff to take a COVID-19 test before returning to classes next week. Deborah Alfred. For own CBS News, the White House. Now, in some parts of the country, Omicron is far and away the most dominant strain, accounting for nearly 90% of cases in New York, New Jersey, and Texas.